Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the match preview for Arsenal. Um, if me and Baz look a bit tired, it's because we are. Because we played at Goodison and we're still feeling the effects. Let's be honest. We're, not, we're not as young as we used to be. I just want to kill up in a little ball <laughs> and cry. And cry. <laughs> How sore I am. Oh. So, there's yeah. a reason, like I said to you, there's a reason why people stop playing football at 35. Yeah. This is the reason. This is the, the pain. The pain. Although they're, they're slightly in better positions when they quit football. The fitter than what we Yeah, the fitter. Fit. We've sort of tried to take up football. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't had a period of time off the mm. game. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. That's, I've played two games of football in four years, both are good, doesn't uh, Yeah, I'm retired. Won both. We won, won both. To won be both. fair, won so, both. So you know. Oh my God! You even just sign me up on Derby Day, literally just for the Derby, mm. uh, an emergency contract. Listen, I've played more times at Goodison than the Ass has. So, so have I. I have. Yeah. Yeah. Two, three, four, five. Yeah. 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 Six. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, this game. Moving on. Last <laughs> game of the season at the Emirates. It's Arsenal. I don't know what to say because it's the last game of the season. We're in com we're comfortably in seventh. Well, we're in seventh place. Can't go any higher. Can't go any lower. <laughs> um, it's a big game for Arsenal. There's still a little chance they could get Champions League football. Um, obviously, a lot of things have got to. Well, one major thing's got to go their way, and that's Liverpool not beating Middlesbrough. But let's be honest, they'll probably win eighteen nil. Well, you know we we need to do our. Mersey rivals a favour, don't we? And turn up professionally in this and yeah. make sure you know we have to keep the integrity of the Premier League going, of course. But, but there, to be fair, I'm right, oh, and I feel then I was asked this question this morning and about Everton and the professionalism going down there. But to be honest, we've been on our holidays for about four weeks, so if we went down there and you know got turned over, it's only just keeping the habit up that we've. <laughs> the last few weeks anyway so it's not like it's not like we're lacking professionalism at the end of the day we're going into this game it's the last game of the season there's so much riding on this game for Arsenal in so many ways Champions League if they don't get Champions League football I could see Sanchez leaving Wenger could stay <laughs> um, stay. they won't get they might attract the players that they feel like they should be attracting it could take away from them winning the league um, next, trying to win the league next season so it's a huge game for us whereas for, for them for us it's just eh. and it's last game of the season it's you've had your, you know it's away they've been all this week they'll have been training but it'll, it'll be like you know be like end of school only so it's a week they're getting involved in all kinds of different things like they had the awards last week and they'll be doing a few bits and bobs this week sort of end of season you know we've seen the kit get launched and you know there's there's all like distractions that's basically even for the manager there's distractions to take him away the focus away from knuckling down at the end of the day I know it's sad and I know it's you know you look at it and shouldn't be looked at as fans but a lot of professional footballers all over the country, all over the Premier League, will be looking. And if they're not involved in a game, that means something. They'll be like, "Yeah, I'm 90 minutes away from uh, six, yeah, seven, it. eight weeks off." Do you know what I mean? So that's it's sad, but it's true. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's a game that doesn't mean anything to us, does it? And that, that's that's the top and bottom of it. And so, and in, you mentioned integrity right at the top there, but. Or professionalism, rather. But at the end of the day, it's it's not about us, is it? If Liverpool do what they should do, if Liverpool can't beat Middlesbrough, they mm. don't deserve to finish in the top four, do yeah. they? That's the way I look at it. Arsenal will be looking at this the way we were looking at the Watford game the other night, the last home game of the season. You want to send your fans away over the summer, feeling positive. If they can, they're not going to feel like that. Though. Well, they're not, are they? But I'm saying that's what. I'm saying that they've got a cup final next week. Exactly. Well. <laughs> the last thing you'd need to do is you've got to keep the momentum. So mm -hmm. they beat us. It's like right the next six days now, mm -hmm. all focused on winning a trophy against Chelsea. It's going to be tough because Chelsea have had will have had a fortnight to to 
being champions yeah, yeah. before they play that game. So for Arsenal, they still have a big game Sunday. I, I'm ne- never really defeatist with Everton. I always think, oh, we can, but I don't. I just think Sunday Arsenal win because I just think I feel as though they have to win the game. Mm. And it could, I mean, it could go the other way. We've got no pressure. Yeah, yeah. So really, it could just be like we're just dead relaxed and. Yeah, that, chance, no, know. that's a good point. That's a good point. You can imagine. You can imagine if if it's. You can imagine if we have a good start in the game and and. I don't know. I don't know which you know. They they. I don't know if the MS is the loudest place in the world at the best of times. There's a. They've done really well in the last few weeks to sort of. With no pressure on them to claw that claw that back, they'll be mm. kicking themselves thinking. Yeah. If it only comes down to a point, they'll be absolutely kicking themselves at the points they've dropped. But as I say, in the last few weeks they've won games they should have won, got themselves back into a, a position. You know, it could be a completely different game if Liverpool hadn't got the three points at West Ham, but it's not. They did. They've done a really professional job. Um, but like you say, you get the feeling with somebody like the Emirates that it's not. They're not always the helping hand that you need. There is a lot of. There is a lot of uh, issues. There's a lot of separation between two sides of the fans. You understand. You can understand both sides, can't you? Like the the pro Wenger fans. Up, Understand. Look in terms of the whole tenure. Mm. I think he's done amazingly. He's dragged the te- the club up. Ch- uh, Premier leagues, um, Champions League finalists. I know it's not brilliant. Um, Champions League every year. That's yeah. been a Champions, Champions League. Champions League every year, uh, which you know brings a lot with it. They've moved obviously to the to the ground. You know, and then there's the other side. They've said, well, that that's all well and good, but football doesn't stand still. You've got to move. Mm-hmm. Other clubs have gone past us using the same techniques that Arsene Wenger brought into the uh, into the Premier League. Um, you know, looking at the different kind of scouting systems, the players that he used to be able to get hold of. Now other clubs seem to be able to get getting them in front of them. There's a lot of lot of issues there, and you just think a lot of those things could come out on on Sunday. You know, especially especially if. I mean, take I mean, take the Liverpool situation out of it. If Liverpool, let's say Liverpool are winning and winning quite comfortably, and then suddenly the game becomes, the Arsenal fans know that and they know they're going into the Europa League. Suddenly the place could become a bit of a, you know, if they're not if they're not beating us, then suddenly the place becomes a bit of a, mm-hmm. a tainted atmosphere, and we've yeah. got a we've got a you know build on that and hopefully to try and grab something. I just think away from home, we've we just haven't performed, have we? We haven't mm-hmm. we haven't done what we should have done away from home. I think the thing, the the issue for us, I suppose, is that you can't mix it up too much either. Really, no, there's, no mean, one, there's no one to put in. He's got there? Valencia, and Valencia's are always a better option off the bench. Isn't mm-hmm. Gareth Barry could come in, but he's not going to offer anything different. So, I, I think to be honest with you, some fa- a, a lot of fans, and maybe the manager is basically just the case. Of, Get this game out the way. The season's done. We know where we are. We know that we're in the Europa League. You know it doesn't concern us what goes on, whether Arsenal get in Champions League or not. Whatever. We just get this out the way, and we can start planning for next mm. season. Because we've all got our eyes on the summer, haven't we? This yeah. game is a nothing game. If Everton get beat, as long as we don't get embarrassed, do you know what I mean? Yeah. If Everton get beat, it's not really going to mean anything. Okay, be nice to go then break the break the thing mm. of not winning at the Emirates. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Um, Although I'd, I'd rather do it next season when it means something. No, but you know what I mean when it. it well, I'd rather get it, do it this season than go and do it next season because you've got to take that off. <laughs> well, maybe, yeah. But um, it, you know, the the focus for us is definitely the off season. You know, the, but the, the off season. You got some of the away form there. I mean, four away wins all season. You know, you go back to January. It would be nice. I know. I know it'd be tough, but it would be nice to sign off with a with an away win. Unbelievable. You no, know, we haven't won. We haven't won a away at Arsenal since 1996 you know we've talked about and this is the thing right we've talked about but gets brought up every year Anfield 19 years mm. you, it's, it's longer against these it's, it's longer against it's longer against Chelsea until very until a couple of years ago it was longer against Man United Chelsea the next one Chelsea's 22 years yeah. we've, we've and these are 21 it's it's um it's it's just longer everywhere we go. It's just it's just all these top sides. You have to get rid of all of that, don't you? Yeah. It has to become like with United. Now we won there the first time in twenty odd years, didn't we? And since then, the year later, we got beat narrowly. I mean, mm. we were an Oviedo shot away from getting a draw, weren't we? Mm. 
But this year we've gone. We should have won. We were yeah. we were thirty seconds away from winning there. Yeah, that would have been twice in four years. You know, all of a sudden it's a couple of years since we last won there. You know, we've won the Spurs, haven't we? All right, it's not for a few years, but we have won down there. So these, the likes of Arsenal, Chelsea, and Liverpool, they're the three City. Mm. We, we, well, we do. Right. There's, there's no mindset no, in City. Don't is City, and, and it's a decent game. The East, the, you know, this is a place where we were. You know, the PR yeah, goal yeah. a few years ago should have been the day we won there. Well, when J- James Vaughan missed the chance to make a 3 yeah, 1 with about yeah, eight well, minutes yeah, to go, didn't he? Yeah, or something. But that deflection for the equal. No, I know. Zicky, you know, could have gone anywhere, couldn't it? But, um, so yeah, it'd be a good opp- well, a good thing to be able to break that and show that you go next season. And it's like, we won here last year, do it again. I just wonder if, we, yeah. if we're at the level that we need to be to do that, if you know what I mean. I don't think we're mindset, at the mindset. Yeah, well, that's the big that's problem, isn't it? It's mindset. And, it's and not players. We've got the ability, but it's mindset. No, they've switched off, haven't they? Um, you mentioned, I mean, we're talking about players. I mean, we spoke about this last week, but obviously there's the potential that it could be Romelu Lukaku's last game in Evans year. Could be mm. could be Ross Barkley's last game in Evans year. Could be Valencia's last game in Evans year. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, 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 it's, it's, again, it's, we spoke about like Arsenal and, and what it means to them and how the Wenger situation and, and people like Sanchez but Do you think Wenger will stay? I do actually, I think he's staying and he's got plans. I mean they've got brought that lad in, haven't they, the left back that we were after. Yeah. And you, Polish, you think of things like him, you think, well he must know the manager's staying if they're bringing players like that in. Um But those the, those kind of European players don't sign for the club, don't they? They do, you but you get the feeling that thing is mate, Tushel, look, it looks yeah. like Tushel's about to leave mm. Dortmund and if that's he was the case, the one I said a while ago. you know, he'd be perfect for, he'd be perfect for us, mm. but if Arsenal, he'd be perfect yeah. for us, because I think they, I think they need Simeone, they need refresh, they need Simeone, but they won't have him because yeah. of everything else that he yeah. brings, with Tushel is very, He's yeah, really, he's, a, he's like a, he's like he's, he's a like he's like yeah. I was gonna yeah, David yeah. wouldn't be my words. He's like a non meth clop, yeah, isn't he? You know what I mean? He's like, but he's dead softly spoken, dead like, um, got the same sort of football philosophy. He's just clop, but he's dead. Everything's very quiet. Mm. Whereas clop is seen as like what was it, heavy metal football? He's more like classical simp. Well, he's not a he's not a fuck with like clop. Is he? Let's be honest, doesn't. No, but you know what? I, I mean? don't. Do you know what? I don't mind clop if I'm if I'm, if I'm I, You know, I don't mind him away from the game. On the get when I watch that when I watch him on the side, all of you see, I, I'm always always suspicious of managers who are like that because they try and make it about them. Mm. And I always think it's trying to deflect from the deficiencies. Yeah. Martin O'Neill was classic for it. <laughs> and that's what I call Klopp the German Martin O'Neill because all he used to do was just jump around and trying to get, and it's like, look what I'm doing, this is how passionate I am. You seen it ahead last week when Milner missed the pen? No, but looking at the crowd yeah. and waiting, and you just think, just let the players do their thing. Conti's a bit like that though, isn't he? But he's a, he's a I like Conti. He's a bit of a titter. No, I, I don't but know. he's a good manager. I don't know. It's, it's no, but social, back yeah, to social. Yeah. I think social will be, I think he'd be perfect for Arsenal. Yeah. But for us, from our, our side of it, like you rightly say there, Lukaku, um, I don't think he'll be Ross's last game, but potentially, because at this moment in time he hasn't signed a mm-hmm. contract. <laughs> Valencia to a lesser extent. Gareth Barry. Could be more. Who knows? You know what? It could be. It could be Joel's. It could be Jagielka's. Mm. It could be you know. There's a there's Garners. Yeah. No. Nah. Arsenal one. No, I'm I'm just saying. It's for the likes of works. Just saying. To, no. To break your uh, your train of thought. No, but there's there are no, there there's are a few players that bad. we possibly won't see again in the blue shirt, and it'd be a nice way for them to sign out to put in a good performance, wouldn't it? Lukaku. That looked as though we had that golden boot shown up the other week. Now Sanchez has what a goal behind him. You know, going into this game. So if he what I mean, I don't know how arsed he is about getting the golden boot, but as a centre forward, that's that's a big accolade. Well that's the thing you can sort of for him he could walk away from the end of the season saying I've done my job. But there is that staff floating around, isn't yeah. there, which I haven't sort of Independently, I've seen it again today. Yeah, I've seen. Different shows. I know, but sometimes these things. Yeah, get, yeah, yeah. They get banded round, don't they? And then yeah. because you see them in different places, that's that's the confirmation. Mm-hmm. But that stat isn't saying if you take away all Romelu Lukaku's goals, Everton would still be in seventh place and still be seven points. Seven points clear of West, West Brom. Brom. Mm-hmm. It's an interesting one, isn't it? I mean, it's it's, mad, it? it's a it's a it's an interesting start, but you, you it's like it's all like saying that. 
But you go back to the Man City game, you think, well, he scored the first goal. If he doesn't score that first goal, then it, mm. we don't go on and win. There's, you can't, you know, you can't always say just because you've won games by more goals than than just because he hasn't scored all of them, you're not going to win the games. But it's an interesting stat. But um, I don't know that he scored and then he didn't. And <laughs> then more. Oh, well, that- the, the only issue you would have with Romelu Lukaku is he seems to get off and Andy put Jordan Lukaku up front for the last for a March onwards don't we? It's happened every year. So there's something in that. that motivation, isn't it? It's lack of motivation. Well, it's got to be no but personal motivation, I'm not saying but but then that's, that's a deep that's no that's that's a problem with him. Yeah. Not saying that's a problem with us, yeah. that's a problem no, with him. Because he's got him. he's got he had the let's be honest. He's got that he had that golden boot sewn up. Weeks ago, yeah. and then he hasn't scored. But he's not scored against teams that he should be scoring against. Watford, Swansea. Did he even have a? He nearly even have a chance again. I can't remember him having a chance against Watford. Did he? Mm-hmm. Did he have a shot? One even? shot. He probably should have got. Tra- nearly won the penalty. Yeah, that was a penalty. The penalty. Was a foul, um, no, but there but you go. Some, but, but that's what I'm trying to say. When you're when these top clubs are looking at players, they're looking at mentality. Can they do it on this level? Can they do that? How often? Do, you know, how, how much effort does he put in? Does he keep going? If they get his thing. The last few years, March onwards, he kind of slows up. Now it could be because <laughs> fatigue. Everton have flogged him to death. Yeah. That's what it could be. It could be just the fact that he's just not sharp anymore because he's tired mentally. I, you know, if he feels a bit like I do today, then fair play to the kid for putting the shirt on. He's had and carry to do on. that thirty times. Mm. In the but he's fit. He's younger. Uh, Twenty years younger and should be fit. Um, but yeah, that's something that he he probably got to address in mm. himself. But you know, it's it, put it this way: this will be the last time we see this as a team. Yeah, because I think there'll be big changes. Yeah, it's got to be. It can't be a. Um, it can't be another one of those. Can it? Went like two thousand and nine. If I ever see Hibbleton Osman again playing on the right, yes. Mm. Seven years later, they were still there. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, no, this this has to be has to be the end of this this team as we know. I mean, last season was the end of that team as we knew it, and it's, mm. it's got to happen again, hasn't it? Every year, yeah. You know, if you're not if you're not the best team or not within the best teams, because when you're up there, obviously, you, you, it's all about fine tuning, isn't it? One or two changes now, and you know, every other every summer or every other summer or whatever, whatever it is. But like last summer, it's a, it's about because if you think about it, if you go back twelve months, that team is completely, you know, completely new midfield. Snyder and Davies, Garner and Garner, completely new midfield. Yeah. Um, def, you know, defensively, okay, Jags is, and Baines are in it, but actually, actually. Uh, Williams and Holgate. Mm. I know it wouldn't be by choice. We'd still have Baines in there, but but there you go. There's there's, there's two in there. Um, okay, Morales and Ross Barkley. They're similar, but that if you want to just say one thing, the midfield is completely, completely been ripped up. Yeah. You know, from being Barry and McCarthy for so long, that mm. midfield is completely new now. So the next stage will be, you know, other areas of the pitch, whether it be the front three or the centre backs. Or Gotta be the the. This to me is the most pivotal, pivotal, pivotal. <laughs> that tired. Can't even say it. Easy for you to say. Summer for Everton in big summer, big summer. M- in a number of years because they've got ambition. Mm. They've got a structure in place that lends itself to identifying players and and doing all the doggy work. Mm. And there's the money yeah. that they haven't had. And all that is at Ronald Koeman's disposal, which is what he asked. He came in last summer, he said, I want European football. But don't forget, it was a big call mm. to say we were 11th. It was a big shout for him because there was no guarantee the League Cup was going to play out the yeah, way it did or the FA Cup. So he was kind of saying, I want us to be in the top five yeah. or six. And that was jumping from 11th into that t- set of teams mm. who were big teams. So... For him to put, he kind of put his balls on the line then. Now what he said is, we'll be challenging for top four mm-hmm. next season. So this summer is where all that's mm-hmm. got to bear fruition. And that's why, it's like we said about Kevin Morales. If Kevin Morales becomes the level of our bench, mm-hmm. yeah. then we've gone up it'll another be, It'll be interesting if, if we sit here in 12 months' time. It'll be interesting to look at the team then and see how many are left from 12 months ago now. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Whether the, I mean, the goalkeeper... The centre backs, like even Lincoln Baines, you know, you can imagine Jordan the period of one season next season. That if we were to bring in a young left back, that that young left back could, 
transition into the side. Well, Collis, it's bad how you yeah. say his name. We were after him. He was left back, we? and he was he's twenty, what, twenty yeah. three, twenty four. Because you can player. imagine that you can imagine him going out and buying players in the summer, um, and and those players might not start the season, but might transition through the season mm -hmm. as Leighton Baines gets older. The centre backs, you know, whether. Ashley, uh, Ashley Williams could well start the season but then there could be a transition to a, a younger side and it'll just be really interesting to see I mean Ashley Williams could still be in there but if you go back 12 months ago he wasn't at the club so it'll be, it'd be really interesting we could, we could have a completely new 11 from this time 12 months ago in 12 months see, I think I think John Joe Kenny will start the first Premier League game this season mm. at right back I don't, even though Mason's in there now doing well I think Kenny but will, Holgate might start the centre back Holgate he? could push inside depending on who we get you just don't know but if we get the players he wants. We could start the season with three three centre backs. Three centre if backs. it's the centre, if it's three centre backs that he feels can play that, then he might go with three mm -hmm. and play. So it changes the whole. Yeah. That's what I mean. It, this is what I'm saying. It's a really, it's a really exciting summer because he's in now and he knows exactly what he yeah. wants and he knows that there's no arson about. So mm -hmm. you know, like I say, this game represents kind of the I think the kind of the end of an era in some respects. The Martin is You've done very well. And I think you will see that. See if they can't be every, we can't get rid of everyone. No, no, because it's you can't do that. But if five or six of that team becomes our bench, but you don't have to get rid of them. I mean, just violence. You don't have to get rid of them all anyway, because the point of even if you don't want them, because we've seen that last summer, he brought players in and he didn't just get rid of all players. Mm -hmm. He give them, he give them almost a little bit of a chance. And I'm not saying he won't, he's not, he's going to keep them for a chance, but he might keep certain players for the first four months or five months till January mm. to let those other players bed in and then start letting go of them now whether whoever they are I don't know do you know what I mean he might yeah, just have yeah. a little look at them because he obviously we've got the Europa League as well like, yeah, but and the League Cup yeah. so we've got to have we've got to be able to when we make seven changes in the League Cup they've got to be seven players yeah, yeah. who you look and go well, that could be our and, first team and also you look at something like the League Cup where we've come a cropper when we've been in the Europa League is in the past is because we've had so many games early Europa League and obviously yeah. Premier League when that League Cup all every time in, we've been in the Europa League it's almost like the Europa League is, the League Cup sorry has fell by the wayside and yeah. we've just played a completely separate 11 and that the quality of that 11 just hasn't been, good, been enough good enough to get us through mm. and it, it always seems the case because we all for, we always put loads of stock in the first couple of games in the Europa League group stages it's almost like get the wins early and get them through but because you've got the League Cup in there as well at the same time it's just all, it's just like too much too soon and that's where we've come a cropper and maybe Kuma will look at it a bit differently and as you say he might have plays and go you know what it's hectic it's Europa League it's League Cup we'll keep them for the first part of the season and when January comes I'll happily that let them go the likes of maybe Besic um, some of Jack the younger Jelka players maybe. Jack Yelka, even even Barry you know, even Barry, mm. even Barry having that experience there, having someone who can who can come in in a League Cup game where it's a might be a few younger players and need that little bit of experience. He'll he'll need those players. I think it's in the forward areas, yeah. Because in the, like that Norwich game, he left Lukaku or well, Lukaku was injured, I think, or whatever. Valencia come and he hadn't played. Mm. He just put him in, and it was all very disjointed. Whereas you've got strikers who were there and yeah. ready to go good strikers not Coney level but you know the next no but you know what I mean <laughs> not, not Coney not Coney just not Coney the next level up they can come in in them games and get yeah. you a couple of goals and go right you know Gaffer mm -hmm. I am here you know I want to play and you know maybe maybe they'll go back in for the likes of Lucas Perez mm -hmm. at Arsenal because he, he wants yeah. out he's not being used Koeman wants them yeah definitely and, and it's and I say that that period is a lot more hectic than say the second half of the, mm -hmm. the season um, I know you get the FA Cup and obviously if you're still in the Europa League but it's not as hectic and um, we've seen this year the players that left the likes of Cleverly he was he played loads of games in the first half of the season but he was he let him go he was, you know, so mm, Lennon yeah. we haven't seen obviously Adam Lennon know he's had his problems of late but we haven't we'd seen him in and out mm. haven't we Delafay who played a few games early part didn't he and then went out so there's players there yeah. who, who we, you're no. right he may move on no there we go. We somehow made the match preview all about next season. But there you go. <laughs> that's us. That's what we do. I know, but there's, there's not much. No, no, no. Well, it's a, it's, it's it all a, works together. It's enough for the look. Could be big, big uh, game for some of these players. Hmm? Get down the front. Get the shirts because they might be through. Get a few getting thrown in. Kids getting elbowed up. Work. You're not in this. But not in the studio. Not in the studio. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There you go. Let us know in the comments. Um, 
are you particularly arsed if we get beat for certain reasons? Or does. <laughs> So I don't even ask that question. No, but the it? thing is, are people? But and listen, I want Everton to win every game we play. Mm. But in the grand scheme of things, we're yeah. seventh. We, we can't go up. We can't go down. Mm. You know. So if we get beat, it, I think the part from the fact I, I'd have loved this to have been last week, and we had Watford at home <laughs> to sign off with the win because it isn't nice to losing the last game of the season. But you just look and go, right? Okay, well, it is all about the summer. But you know, like I said, no pressure. Yeah. On us. Go down there, play well. Win four Happy three. days. Win four three. Break I was actually at the last four, the three, four three at Highbury when we got beat four three. And it scored. was a cracking game. Yeah. And Lee Carsley scored as well. Jeff scored, Jeff scored Jeff for Jeff them, well. and he was giving it all. This, and he'd obviously won the league, and they were taking it around. It was a, it was a, actually a lovely day. Great day. Lovely day. Great game because we went, There was no pressure on us. We went down and we did our part, and all right, we got beat, but. Ultimately, it showed signs, signs that we were going to be a good side, and you know what? We, we ended up being a decent, yeah, we ended up being a decent right, side. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let us know in the comments. Last game of the season, last match preview for a little while. Good season, good. for a little while. Been, it's um, been a long season. It has. Yeah. So it's all on us. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thanks for watching Toffee TV. We will see you later.